I'm gonna show you how to easily create a whip pan transition in Premiere Pro 2025. Here inside Premiere Pro, I already have two clips down on the timeline. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go down here to new item and select adjustment layer. Then I'm just gonna make sure that these settings match my sequence settings and then just press okay. Then I'm just gonna click and drag that adjustment layer onto the layer above my two clips and then drag it out. Then I'm gonna go up here to effects and the first effect that I'm gonna type in is offset. And I'm gonna click and drag that onto the adjustment layer. And I'm gonna go back up here and type in Gaussian blur just click and drag that onto the adjustment layer as well. Then I'm gonna take my playhead to the center point in between my two clips, and I'm gonna go up here to effect controls and scroll down to these two effects that I just added. Now, the first thing I wanna do is go back five frames. So I'm gonna tap one, two, three, four, five, and then make sure that you have your adjustment layer selected. And we're going to click the stopwatch here under offset for shift center two, and then we're gonna go for 10 frames. And this is gonna be going from left to right. So I'm just going to change this to negative 1920. I want to make sure that this lines up perfectly so there's no weird gaps or anything like that. Then I'm going to bring the playhead back to the center point, and then I'm going to go down here under Gaussian Blur, and I'm going to click the stopwatch here under Blurriness, and I'm going to change this to 150. And feel free to play around with this blurriness, bring it higher or lower to match what you want it to be, because this is going to be for the motion blur, and sometimes people want more intense motion blur or not so much. So this is kind of a creative choice. And then under Blur Dimensions here, since we're going to be panning horizontally, we're going to select horizontal. If you were going up and down, you would select vertical. So we're just going to select that. And then we're going to go back five frames. I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, and then I'm going to change the blurriness back to zero, and I'm going to go for 10 frames and change it back to zero as well. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is highlight all of these keyframes that I just created. I'm going to right click and go down to temporal interpolation and select Bezier, and then I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so it's easier to see, and I'm going to bring the playhead back to the center point in between these two clips, and I'm going to drop down this tab here for shift center two under offset. And I'm going to click and drag this down so it's easier to see. And then we're going to take these little brackets here and we're just going to drag them straight down. And when we drag them straight down, you'll see that it creates a hill. And what we want to do is we want to have the peak be in the center so we can adjust the peak by just moving these arms around left and right. And the closer that we get these little arms to the center line here at the center of the two clips, the more dramatic this effect is going to be. So for me, I like to bring these pretty close to that line. But again, I'm just making sure that it's even on both sides so the peak is in the center. Then I'm just going to go ahead and play that back. If you'd like to learn even more cool transitions like this in Premiere Pro, check out this video next and I'll see you in the next one.